Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Jalen. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, so we're starting a vlog. Today is Saturday the 8th, I think, June 8th. And I just did a quick little, like, no makeup makeup look. I have a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And it looks really, really natural. Like, this is probably the best no makeup makeup look I've ever done. Like, it looks really natural. I don't have anything else on my face other than concealer and powder under my eyes obviously i have on like lip gloss and then i did i used blush as bronzer instead of actual bronzer just to give more of that like sun kissed kind of look i don't know but i don't have anything like on the rest of my face as you can see like you can still see some of my like um acne scars like dark spots or whatever but yeah i think it looks really cute and I had my hair slicked back because I took out my clip ins because I didn't put them in right the last time I put them in. Like, I didn't like the placement of them. They were almost, like, hurting my head. Though I don't know. Something about them wasn't right. So I took them out. They need to be washed anyway. I need new clip ins Those clip ins are from Amazon. They're very cheap, and it's starting to show. Um, so I need to get some, some new ones. But, yeah, I'm about to go downstairs and get a package. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't even know why. Like, I put on a whole outfit. I did my makeup, my hair, I don't really do my hair, I just kind of like put it back. I have on the tiniest bit of edge control, but not even really, like y'all can see they're not slicked. My edges are not slicked, but yeah. But this is what I'm wearing, don't mind, I have like rain sounds on the TV. I was editing, which it's sleep now. My laptop is asleep, but I was editing. Uh, but yeah, this is a little outfit that I put on. So I have on these little linen pants that I could not find for the longest time, but I found them. They were in my dresser. I didn't know where they were at for the past like two or three months. But they was in a drawer that I never go in. So yeah. Um, and then I have on this little bodysuit that's like backless. Can y'all see? It's very cute. Love these little linen pants. They're like little capris. They're just so cute for like the summertime. Real cute. And then just have on these little white slides going anywhere i don't even have my car my car is having like technical difficulties so yeah i don't have anywhere to go and yeah i i just i there i have nowhere to go nothing to do but i just felt like getting cute i don't know and i wanted to vlog with y'all so i guess maybe that's the reason that i wanted to get a little bit cute but yeah because i did just have my bonnet on and i really want to get on the camera with my bonnet on so yeah, but I have a package. So we're gonna go downstairs and get my package and then we're gonna come up here and we're going to open it together because I'm very excited about it. It's something very small, but I've never had it before and I really wanna try it. So yeah, let's go downstairs. We made it to the package room. It should be a very small package. I just don't know what it looks like. Oh, I found it. Bag secured. I got my package and y'all, it's a lip plumper. <laughs> so I have seen this video on Instagram of a page called the Lip Lab. I mean the lip label. Um and they have lip plumpers. So they're cute. Like the package is actually really cute. Let me take this lip gloss off. I heard it burns really bad. But I'll link the uh, Instagram page below and I just ordered it directly from the link in their bio. So yeah, it was $35 for this, which I'm sure you can get way cheaper lip plumpers, but this one just looked really cute and the girl was really cute. She sold me on it and I watched a bunch of um, her videos with other people's like before and afters and it looked pretty good, which I mean lip plumpers, basically they just swell your lips up. Like, they burn your lips so bad that they swell, and then that's the plumping. So, I mean, whatever. But this is what the packaging looks like. Really cute. I love this applicator. It looks really, really cute. It almost looks like an under eye type of thing, but I wouldn't dare put this on my face, like, under my eyes. But, yeah. And like I said, it's called the Lip Label. So, we're going to try it. I've never used a lip plumper ever. So, we're going to try it. I heard it burns. I'm very nervous. I 
and the girl who i think is like the owner um of the lip label her lips are already very full but when she uses this they look so much more juicy and plump and it makes them like pink kind of i guess because your lips are on fire so they're just burning i can feel the tingle and i think i got a little bit on my tongue too okay i don't know how much i'm supposed to put like it's a very thin formula like i'm not even sure that this is supposed to be lip gloss it almost feels like Vaseline I keep getting it on my tongue my tongue is burning but yeah this is like what it looks like right now this isn't technically the before because I guess it's already started working but this is what it looks like now it's starting to burn really bad But I love this packaging, it's so cute. It's really cute. Okay, it's really burning. It's really, <coughs> it's really burning. Oh wow. Okay. Y'all, it's really burning. Like I almost can't move my mouth, like it feels like it's burning. I hope I don't have any type of reaction to this. Oh, I think it's really burning. But anyway, while I'm like trying to take my mind off of the burning, I changed my camera settings. I don't know if y'all can tell. Um, I had it in 4K 59 point something frames per second or whatever it is. Now I have it in full HD or FHD. 29.9 whatever um i thought 59 was better because it's a higher number so i thought like oh the higher the frames the better quality the video looks but when i actually looked it up just now i was watching a video i was watching somebody's youtube video and she was like oh my gosh i have my camera in 60 frames per second and that's what you need to have it in if you're trying to do like a slow-mo type of video so she was like, it probably looked a little bit weird because it was in the wrong setting or whatever. Um, so then I was like, oh wait, I have my camera in 50, I mean like almost 60, it's like 59.94 or something like that, so basically 60. Uh, I was like, I have my camera in 60 frame, frames per second, so should I not have it in that? Look how red my lips are getting. Ugh. But yeah, I was like, should I not have it in that? So then... I looked it up and it was saying that 29.9 or like 30 frames is better. It said between like 24 and 30 frames is better for like video quality or something like that. Oh my gosh. Like is this working? Do my lips look bigger? Oh, it's really burning. So does the camera quality look better? I don't know. I can't really tell. I feel like it looks smoother. Like it feel, it looks like it has like a smooth filter on it, but it doesn't. That's just what it looks like in this framing, I guess. Oh my gosh. It feels like I ate the hottest thing ever, but I only got it on my lips. Like I didn't actually eat it because my mouth isn't hot. It's just my lips that are hot. Ugh. Have y'all ever used a lip pumper? Let me know in the comments. This is literally my first time. And I've seen so many like videos of people looking like me right now. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's like I want to wipe it off, but like I don't feel like my lips are like big. Ah, uh, but they do feel numb. Oh my god. My lips don't really look bigger, or do they? Do they look bigger? They look red for sure. And they're like numb. Ugh. Let me go get my lip gloss. Ugh. I just went and got the Ulta Beauty 
juice infused lip oil. I really like these. I had them before. I had the. I want to say it was like. It was a yellow one. It was like mango. And I think I had the pink one too. They have a bunch of different colors. They have like a purple one. But they're like sheer. So it's not like your lips are actually going to be purple. But. I couldn't even drink through my straw just now. Like, my lips hurt so bad. I don't know if they actually look bigger. I feel like they do a little bit. Like, I feel like I feel like they look bigger. But it looks crazy because, like, around my mouth is red. Like, I look like I have stuff around my mouth. Like, y'all see what I'm saying? I can't even move my, my lips for real. But it looks like I have, like... like something red around my mouth how do people use this and then like go out like i can't even function right now like imagine using this you know because you're about to go out you're getting ready like imagine i just don't like the way it looks like it looks crazy like i don't think it looks that cute like, look at my lips. <sighs> oh my gosh. Once the like redness goes down, it'll look better. I don't know, but I don't know. I don't really like how it looks. Like, I think it looks crazy. I think it looks absolutely insane. Like, okay if you're into lip plumpers you might like this i do feel like my lips look a little bit juicier like they look plump but they just look red and like crazy i don't know but yeah if you're into lip plumpers you probably will like this or you might like this i don't know but yeah i'll link it below like i said it's called the lip label on instagram this is what my lips look like Just look a little red. Like I was eating something and I got red stuff all like my lips are stained red. But not like in a good way. So yeah. I don't know. Not really my favorite thing. But this lip gloss though. The Ulta Beauty um, Juice Infused Lip Oil. If you've never used this before, make sure you get it. But it's very small. Not a lot comes in here and it's like $10. Like, I be going through these real bad. Yeah, I don't really think that was worth $35. So, yeah, I'm not really. And not that it's not worth it. Like I said, you look. it seems like it's like a lot of product in here. This is a big tube. Like, it's a pretty big tube. It's a really big. It's a big tube. So, you get a lot of product in here, but not worth it for me like if you're into lip plumpers it's probably worth it for you but like i just don't think it did enough for me i don't know i just don't think it did enough i was expecting to have like big old juicy you know like lips and i feel like this is what my regular lips look like anyway like with lip gloss maybe not like if y'all see a difference if y'all think my lips look way bigger then y'all let me know i don't think they look way bigger i don't think so at all they look red. I don't think they look that much bigger. Maybe I have to like keep going. Like do more. I don't know. Anyway. So that was that. Um, I'm going to finish editing this other vlog. This vlog is from the end of March. No, no, no. The end of April. This vlog is from the end of April. That I'm editing right now. Um, and it is now the beginning of June. So it's like over a month old. But I'm going to try to have it up this week. Um, I mean, maybe my lips do look a little bit bigger. I don't know, y'all. I can't tell. I really genuinely, honestly cannot tell. I was just talking to y'all and I was not recording. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to finish editing this vlog. 
um i don't think it's gonna take me too long to edit and we're gonna breeze through it or at least we're gonna try i just want to chat with y'all for a little bit because i haven't talked to y'all in a while so i'm just chatting but i ordered some stuff off amazon for my apartment which i don't think that i told y'all previously um but i do plan on moving when my lease is up in january um, so I have been doing like apartment tours, which it's like really soon to do apartment tours because my lease, like I said, is not up until January. But I just kind of want to get a feel for what I'll be looking at when January comes around um, or before January because I'll probably start like really, really, really trying to figure out where I'm going to move probably in like October, November-ish because um, I kind of want to have all of that situated before the holidays really come around so that i kind of already know where i want to go and what i'm gonna do and blah, blah, blah. so yeah um but yeah so i do plan on moving so i had kind of put a halt on because y'all know at one point like i was getting my bathroom together i was getting my bedroom together i got my pictures from my bedroom i had got the pictures from my living room i think i showed y'all that i got new um pillows or pillowcases for my um for my couch um i had got like stuff in my bedroom everything and then i kind of put a halt on it because i was like well i'm gonna be moving so i don't want to buy a bunch of stuff for this apartment that might not necessarily fit or go into my next apartment you know what i mean so i was like if i need to get other things i'll wait until i move and then i can buy other things from there especially because moving into my next apartment i have all of my like big furniture like i have my um dresser now i have my credenza i have my tvs i have my um, sofa I have my bed so I have all of my like basic big furniture um, so pretty much everything that I have in here is going to go with me to the next place the only thing that I probably won't take is this desk because <clears throat> I need a I need a new desk anyway but yeah everything else like my for sure need furniture I have it already so like when I move to my next place it'll just be like little stuff that I'll get um to like fully decorate and everything but, so yeah basically i had put a halt to like buying stuff because i was like well if i'm going to be moving i don't i just don't need to buy stuff right now because i don't know like what is actually going to go in my next apartment like i might kind of change up the vibe so i don't want to buy stuff to fit the vibe for this apartment and then i don't necessarily want it for the next place but I'm still buying little stuff right now which i'm pretty sure i can take with me to the next place because like i said i definitely am moving like that's not really what i want to move so i'm moving <laughs> um and there's nothing wrong with my apartment now the only thing is like i don't have enough like natural lighting y'all know that my window is all the way up in the freaking ceiling i hate that like i can't really like when i look at the window all i can see is the sky like i can't see outside for real um and then same thing with like my bedroom my bedroom doesn't even have like real windows the windows are outside i mean the windows aren't windows from outside they're windows to the hallway so my bedroom is always dark because it's like no natural light in there at all so yeah that's very so yeah i don't like that i don't like it but i mean the apartment itself and the apartment complex is I mean it's fine but I just want something a little bit more like homey a little bit more um like up to date I guess I mean like my apartment is pretty up to date like appliances and stuff but I don't know if y'all saw my apartment complex then you would know what I mean when I say that um I just want something a little bit more modern I guess I don't know but so yeah, I am gonna move, but I did order a couple of little things because I don't know, I just really want pink in here. I tried to do the neutral thing for a while and like it's cool, but it's just bland. And I think it just looks bland in here because this apartment style is bland. Not the style, but like just the colors that are already in the apartment and just the look of the apartment is already bland. So like me trying to do neutrals just did not work for me. Like it worked for a little bit and then I just was like, it just looks like dead in here. I don't really like it. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that like I said, it's not a lot of natural light in here. So it just, I don't know, something just wasn't given. So I was like, I need color. So I've been trying to do pink. So I, I think I showed y'all my pink. Um, maybe I didn't, but y'all can see. 
the little pink pillows, which moving into my, oops, sorry, which when I go to my next apartment, I'm definitely getting new pictures. Cause I think I want to do like pink. And I found some on Amazon that are really cute. I didn't get them yet, but I did find some. Um, but yeah, I ordered some stuff. I'm getting a picture to go right there. Y'all see where I, that little painted picture, I painted that. Um, and I just hung it up right there just because like the space was empty. But I'm gonna put a picture right there, which in my next apartment, if I have the same kind of like counter like this, which a, the, a lot of the other apartments that I toured had a counter just like this, like the island connected to the wall or whatever. Um, I saw somebody on YouTube, I think it's the girl A. Wilkie. A. Wilkie, do y'all know her? A. Wilkie, I think that's her name. She be, she's real cute. Anyway, um, she has like a mirror right there, like on the end of her counter. And I just think, I was like, oh my God, I wanna do that. So if I have a, um, if my apartment has like a counter similar to this or just has like a space for me to like do that, have like a big mirror, then I'm gonna put like a round mirror like that. But in here, I just got a picture and the picture was pretty cheap. It wasn't like expensive. Cause I, like I said, if I'm gonna be moving soon, I'm not trying to put a whole bunch of money into this place. But this is stuff that I could take with me to the next place. So it's really not a big deal. Um. So yeah, I got a picture to go right there and it's pink. I think it's gonna be really cute. And what else did I get? I got two little things to go on my little side tables, little pink potted plants. And I wanna get a tree to go in the corner. Right now I have my lamp in the corner, but I wanna get like a potted plant, like a fake one, um, to go in the corner just to give like some color, like greenery. And then I'm gonna put my lamp in the center of this wall. And then, oh, and then I got like a little mat to go because I have a mat on the outside of my door, like a welcome mat, but I want to put one on the inside too, but more like a rug, not like a welcome mat. Y'all know the welcome mats are like that rough like material, more like a rug. So I got one of those and I think that was it. I'm also going to get some pink candles and whatnot. Yeah, I just want to give pink in here. That's just how I'm feeling. So that's what I'm gonna do. Definitely gonna take y'all on like the whole process of like apartment shopping or apartment hunting or whatever, um, which I already have the apartments in mind for the most part. I probably will look at some other ones that are a little bit further away from where I'm at right now because I really wanna stay in this area because I'm so close to my job. But I also have to think about like pricing, you know what I mean? So if like I can find somewhere cheaper that's a little bit further away, like 15, 20 minutes, where I would have to drive to work on the two days that I have to come into office. It's only two days, so it's not even a big deal. But yeah, if I have to drive to work, then, um, but it's cheaper, like I can like live cheaper, then I would much rather do that. You know what I mean? Versus like, oh, I wanna stay walking distance, so I'm gonna pay X amount more in rent just to stay closer to my job versus moving 15 or 20 minutes away and then just having to drive 15 or 20 minutes two days out of the week like i think i would be able to live with it i don't think it would be a big deal but yeah so i'm gonna finish editing this vlog that's all i wanted to chat about i think i don't think i have really anything else to chat about right now but yeah so we're gonna finish editing and then <clears throat> i gotta figure out what i'm gonna make for dinner i don't really I need to go grocery shopping, but I don't have my car. I mean, I still have food. I'm not like in here starving, but I would want to go grocery shopping, but because I don't have my car, I can't go right now. So I definitely am gonna have to go before like the end of the week. So, and let me know if y'all like the camera quality. Cause I, I know it looks a little bit different or I feel like it looks a little bit different, but I almost think it looks better. We'll see what I'm editing, like how it actually looks and how I like it. But the other, when I had it in 4K, it's like zoomed in. I want to show y'all let me show y'all okay this is what it looks like in 4k so it looks a little bit like crisper i think in 4k which obviously like 4k is like you know good quality or whatever like video quality but you see how like zoomed in it is is the fhd in 29.9 some 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 frames per second edited that y'all should be able to see it like right next to each other the zoomed in portion 
so yeah hopefully y'all can like see the difference how this is not as zoomed in like you could see more of the background and it's not like right here in my face like you know what i mean so yeah that was something that like i didn't like when i first put it in 4k but because the quality just seemed a lot crisper I was like, whatever, like I'll just leave it. But I think this looks pretty good. It just looks really like smooth. It doesn't look as like crisp. It looks a lot like smoother, if that makes sense. Which you would think might be like a good thing, but I don't know, sometimes when it looks too smooth, it just, but I don't know, I feel like it looks fine. Let me turn the light out. This is with no, well like natural light, but not like direct light on me. I do wish it was a little bit crisper. I think I can like play with that a little bit though. So I'll play with the settings some more again. <laughs> Cause I mean, the last time I really played with the settings for real was like when I got the camera and then like a couple months after that, I was still kind of playing with it, but I haven't really played with the settings in a long time. So yeah, now I'm just kind of like in the mood to play with them again, just to kind of see if we can make it a little bit better. But yeah, y'all let me know how y'all like it. If y'all like the 4K or if y'all like this quality.